Good afternoon, research design and analysis students. In today's screencast, we're going to look briefly at how to split a file or select cases. You would use these options in case you want to look at the data for just part of your data set instead of looking for it for the whole group. The first thing I'll show you today is how to do um, select cases. And this could be used if you want to, say, grab data on the women in your group, but not the men. So we go to data and down here to select cases. And then it will show you several different options. What we're focusing on today is the if condition. So if you wanted to look at data, maybe the mean and standard deviation or make a graph for just the women in your group, what you would do is put in the variable and then tell it in which cases or conditions that you want to select. So in this particular data set, um, the women in the data set are represented with a two. So we could say if the variable g for sex, which is gender or sex, equals two, those are the people that we want to pay attention to. Then you click continue. And OK. It will take you to the output where it shows you the syntax of what it is performing based on the buttons you clicked. So this is the computer language that tells it what to do. We don't see anything other than that, though, because what happened was a change in our data set. So what we need to do is look here at the data and notice that it's um, barring out anyone who does not have a two um, for the gender category. It will also create a filter over here to show you which individuals were selected or not selected. In this case, after you've got the women picked out, you could go to, let's say, graphs and histogram. If you wanted to make a histogram for how many years these people had lived in Ohio. And when you make that graph, um, it will do it again just for the women based on the filter instead of the whole group. One other way to be able to um, separate anal analyses by groups without just getting that particular group is to use select files. So first, um, we need to take those select cases off and go back to all so that it's starting to look at everybody. And then we can go to split file. In split file, it will look at the data um, across different kinds of groups of people without just filtering some out. So we could ask it to compare the data for groups, say, by sex in this case. All right. And then we can make um, the means and standard deviations for each sex. We can make the histograms for each sex instead of just selecting a particular one. So if I were to go back and now that I've said, hey, separate it by groups, and make a histogram. It will do that histogram for how many years people have lived in Georgia several times. All right, well, why three? I thought our data set, Dr. Wickline, primarily had males and females because we didn't have anybody that identified as other or didn't respond. Well, that's true, but we did have some people that left it blank. So it's at first giving us a histogram for those two people who didn't answer the question. Then it's giving us the histograms for the males in the group and then a histogram for the females. So again, we started with select cases to pick a particular group. We then did um, organize by groups so we could see those different um, categories of individuals and their responses. We could also use split file to tell it to organize by groups. And if we do that third option and tell it OK, Again, we just get a little message down here that says, hey, I separated people. And what happened is it actually moves your data around. So it puts them in order by that group. And then you could go select cases, split file. So this actually changes the order in your data set. Before it was organized by semester, and now it's organizing it by the people that didn't answer for sex, then all of the males, which are one in this data set, and then all of the females. So those are three different quick ways that you can use to help separate and sort your data. Thanks.